I'm Mark Fishman, I'm president of the Novartis Institutes for Biomedical Research. In companies, there is an emphasis on very early financial analysis, and we felt that that was both premature and generally incorrect. And so we remove that from the equation. What's different about that is there's no finance in that decision. It's all about the patients and the science. But it's hard when you're doing very long-term work to say, when will it pay out? I wouldn't say that the world in general has fully bought in. I just think the very smart ones have. For me, the goal which we're beginning to succeed at is to change the practice of medicine. Think of the opportunities. We can now interrogate the entire genome in a single experiment rather than going gene by gene. There's a network of proteins that is conserved from fruit flies to man. Just a few of these networks run how life works. If we can understand those networks and understand how to regulate them, that'll give us better drugs. We generate now petabytes of data, which is an amount that I can't even really comprehend. The biggest challenge isn't so much the storage of the data as it is presenting the data in a way that can be played with by the scientists. You know, what does it look like? Is it a graph or is it a diagram? That's not trivial because if they can see the data, then they can use it. I try to look at where the science is today, and if I had to look at it, we know we'll be very successful and are successful in treating cancer patients, and I think that will only get better. I believe the big opportunities in the future may be regenerative medicine, helping disorders of aging. Why do joints get stiff, muscles stop working, eyes stop, hearing get impaired? We already have drugs in the clinic to try to treat all of these. Novartis in general has been a wonderful company. They've been very productive and very supportive of a long-term effort. Nibber has fit into this effort, but we're only part of it. Uh, you know someone has to finish the development of the drugs and commercialize them. If I were going to pick a field that you should go into only if you want real challenges, I would pick drug discovery. And then you have to go to an environment where you're allowed to explore and where you meet teams of people and colleagues that can help you refine your ideas. And that's what we've tried to build here.